Good morning, fam. It is the day after Christmas. We have survived, and now we're just attempting to get back into the work scene. This mirror we bought months and months and months ago at a Salvation Army for $30. The funny part is, we had sold this exact same mirror that we had bought from one of Casey's auctions. I think we purchased it for like $35 from one of Casey's auctions. Sold it almost immediately for 125 bucks. It is a vintage Turner. It's kind of dark back here, so hopefully you guys are getting the gist of this. Um, I don't know if I can get this to... Nah, the lighting just is going to suck no matter what I do. It's beautiful. Beveled glass beautiful. Sold the last one almost immediately. No, I think I took a hundred for the last one too. Um, and then we were at Salvation Army and seen this mirror, same exact frame, same mirror, picked it up for 30 bucks. Anyways, I just recently finally got around to listing this. I got a hundred dollar offer. They are supposed to pick this up in about an hour, but I have to get this corner it says 29g which $29 green from Salvation Army that I'm having a hard time getting off because I'm selling it for 100 bucks and because I like to do multiple things at the same time I also need to grab this little wooden rocking chair that is down in the basement bought this at a yard sale over the summer for three dollars I have it listed on Facebook marketplace for twenty five dollars and I got a twenty dollar offer on it day after Christmas so I'm gonna set this outside for a porch pickup. This lady is on her way, so I wanted to get this out here before I totally forgot about it. $20, she should be here in roughly 40 minutes. Regular eraser. Pretty good. I think we're all set with that. And our eBay and Etsy. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Welcome to my life. Rich is standing behind me. He's being a troll. Anyway, this, near and dear to my heart, Vanilla Ice, sold it for $6 plus the cost of shipping on eBay. Somebody is as cool as I am. I'm just going to say that. Going to ship this out today. I'm trying real hard to get back into the hang of work-related stuff. But we also have Christmas plans today, day after Christmas, with my dad and my stepmom. So we're supposed to go over there and try to find some sort of vegan option that we can all eat. <laughs> That's kind of our plan for today. I bought these a while ago. I want to say at least a year ago. They are Fila. They are a uh, certain pattern, but now it is escaping me. So hold on while I look that up. Live in Motion is the pattern name. I picked these up half off. I do not remember exactly what I paid for them, but I believe it was somewhere in the $2 range, maybe. Uh, and they just didn't move. I don't know why. They were listed on Mercari as well. Nothing wrong with them. They've got the vents. I have no idea why they didn't move. I had them listed for $18 with free shipping. Ended up getting a $12 offer with the free shipping on uh, Christmas Eve and I took it man I'm just I'm just in the mind frame sorry I'm trying to get this stupid little hair um I am in the mind frame to move inventory right now we are kind of behind on bills if you watch that last video you know this time of year can be really stressful but don't worry I know you guys were all like <laughs> you know you were with us solidarity and I love that thank you guys so much it meant the world to us Everything fell together on Christmas Eve. We ended up getting our Etsy payment. We got Keegan the one big gift that he wanted. We had already bought him a couple small things and some hoodies and whatnot. So he got his, you know, VR headset thing for his PlayStation that he really, really wanted. It was the only thing he asked for. It was the only big thing he got from us. But we did it. We got it all handled and, uh, you know fell into place the way it was supposed to, but we're still really broke and we still have bills to pay. So I'm in the move out inventory phase. $12 with free shipping. Honestly, we probably didn't make anything off of these, but let's just, you know, not sit on them. 
Also with this piece, we got this for free out of one of those houses that we recently were clearing out. Now I sold this over on Etsy and now it's escaping me what I actually sold it for. Sold it for 15, so not bad there considering we don't have any profit or any profit into it. Where is my brain today? We don't have any money into purchasing it, so pretty much profit other than the fees. We're gonna get this stuff boxed up and we're gonna get our lives together. We have to go pick up Keegan from his grandparents' house and then head to my dad's. There is a Goodwill by my dad's house though, so stay tuned. I think we might stop by there and see if we can find anything good, even though in the past, eh, it's not the greatest Goodwill, but you never know. One last thing in the house, mirror sold, $125. Rich is helping her load it up right now, and the little rocking chair also got picked up. Hmm, Rich just came in and grabbed the bus keys, I believe, with a sketchy look on his face. He's just being a troll today. But uh, the little kid's rocking chair also got picked up today for $20, but she ended up PayPaling me the money, so I can't show you cash. But it is gone as well. We are back. Oh my gosh, that was an expensive outing. But while we were gone, I gotta unbury this doll bed we set up a possible porch pickup again i just have to figure out what to do with the rest of this stuff i don't even know what these are what are these those can be donated well i guess i'm glad i went in there so yeah twenty dollars into the gas tank check 45 dollar bag of dog food check 35.50 medication for chimera check I can't even remember how much we spent at the grocery store, like 80 bucks. Check. Ugh. Oh, and the post office too. Don't forget the post office was $17.50 ish. Something like that. Check. So I'm glad that I set up a possible porch pickup because I really want to go thrifting tomorrow. Get back into a schedule now that Christmas is over. All right, I'm going to finish on burying this. Okay, vintage Little Tykes Country Cottage doll bed. We picked two of these up at a thrift store a long time ago. They are on eBay. I believe they are also on Etsy, but the shipping because of the box size is a bit ridiculous. Also have this one on Facebook Marketplace. Once this one sells, I'll put the other one up, even though they're identical. Um, they might have different like scratches. So I am pretty honest about stuff like that, but this is supposed to get picked up for 30 bucks. Well, that didn't take long at all, which means that we should have money in here. It is like 55 degrees outside. I can't even believe how nice it is out here. All right, 20, 25 and $30. Not bad for a 650 pickup. I'll take it. I've legit got to get back into the swing of things. It has been two full days since I've listed anything. I think today would be three, but I'm barreling through. I'm gonna get this out, I'm gonna get it photographed. This is now the third time I've attempted to get this thing listed on eBay and Etsy. So Dan, one of you guys, explained this to me a long time ago, but I don't exactly remember how it functions. But it's basically a humidifier, like old school humidifier. Um, I don't remember if I even plugged this in, although I don't know how safe it would be at this point to use, but I might plug it in and just see if the like motor part comes on. You know, just for nosies. Hmm. All right, so I plugged it in and I didn't hear anything, so I'm going to assume that maybe it doesn't work. But like I said, I'm not even sure how safe that would be at this point to even use. That's the original cord. Um, so I'm just going to list it as I don't know because it might not turn on without, what is that? Oh, it's just, I think that, that went somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. I think I was saying something about whether it works or not with water in it. I know like our humidifier upstairs shuts off if the water gets low. So I don't know, maybe they had that kind of technology back then, maybe they didn't, maybe it just doesn't work. I have no idea. We're losing daylight quick. Let me see what time it is. It's freaking 4.45. I mean, there's still light in the sky, but it's going down real fast. So I'm gonna get this guy photographed and listed online as quickly as I possibly can. 
and uh, I believe considering we're losing daylight, this is going to be my last attempt at work for the day. So thanks for hanging out with us on our first day trying to get back at it after Christmas. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.